Hello, welcome to SS Unitex Susil side and this is part 2 of daytime function in PySpark. Thanks for your support in previous video. So let's start with today's video. So today we are going to see about these three important functions. The first is the date difference. Second is the month between. Next is the trunk. So what is the real time use of these three functions we'll be going to see in practical. So here let me try to execute this cell for creating the data frame that is df and it is having total two columns first is the id and second is the date if we can expand we'll see the data type of this as a string so the first thing we are required to convert this into date type so how we can do that so for that we have already seen in the last video we can use df dot let me try to use with column in the with column let me try to use the same column that is date and here for converting this into date type we can use the to date function and inside the to date we can simply specify this and let me replace the existing data frame with df let me execute this cell and we'll expand so we'll see the data type of this date column as date now the next we are required to check the date difference so how we can use the date difference function so for using the date difference let's assume here we are having these two dates like your current date and this date that we are having in data frame so how we can check the difference into dates between these two dates so we can use the date difference function so date diff function will be helpful on that scenario so let me use df dot with column and here I am going to add a new column, maybe date diff. So this will be your column. And for using the date diff function, we can use date diff here. And then here it is asking your end column name and comma your start column name. So the end column name should be your current date. So we can specify current date and then the next parameter it is asking your start date so start date we are getting from this df dot date column now let me use the df1 here and here let me use the display of this df1 and let me execute this cell so it should be adding a new column that is date diff and here we are getting the difference between your current date and your actual date now the next function we have month between so how we can use the month between so for that we can use dot with column I'm going to add a new column here and that could be your month difference let me put comma then we have to specify the function so function is nothing but month between so we can use month between and here we are required to pass two parameters so the first parameter should be your current date and the second parameter should be your date that we are having in data frame so we'll be getting the difference on months so here we can simply use the current underscore date so this could be your first parameter and the second parameter should be your df dot date now let me try to execute this cell and we'll see the output of this okay so month between is not there it should be months between s is missing so that's why we are getting this error so we are seeing the difference in months but this is not as expected we just want to see round off into two digits so how we can do that so for that let me copy this and let me put it here and here let me do the round so here we can go with round function and at last we can specify comma up to two digits let me try to execute this cell so it should be going to add a new column which has been rounded off up to two digits now how we can get the difference into year so till now we have seen how we can calculate the difference on date then we have seen how we can calculate the difference on months how we can do the round off on months then let's see how we can check the difference in years so let me copy this let me paste it here we want to add a new column 
this could be your year difference so let me use year difference here everything will same but let me remove this round off thing that we have done and let me remove this round function here so it should be like this now here if you can see if we are going to do the difference it will be going to get the difference on months but for getting the difference into year so this month whatever the difference that we are getting that should be going to divide by 12 if you are going to divide this by 12 we'll be getting the data into year so here we can simply divide this by 12 and let me execute this cell so what were the months that we are getting we have divided that into 12 so we are getting this list but again this is not as expected we just want to see this rounded off into two digit so we can simply use the round function here and here at last we can specify comma 2 let me try to execute this cell and this time this new year difference we have replaced the existing one so here let me try to use the round at the starting so it should be going to add a new column so that column should be going to round it off as we can see into two digits till now we are good how we can check the difference into date how we can check the difference into months how we can check the difference into year and how we can do the round off next let's try to see about the trunk function so before that let me try to use the display of this df let me execute and we'll see the output of this and here let's try to see how we can use the trunk function so for using the trunk function i am going to add three columns first we'll be going to truncate your month and day part so let's assume if we have requirement we just want to get the first date of the year whatever the date we have specified so we just want to see the first date of year then first date of month so how we can do such type of scenarios by using the trunk function it is very easy to do that so let me try to add a new column by using with column and here i am going to use the trunk function with year so let me try to use the trunk function and it will be going to ask first your column name so column name is nothing but df dot date let me put comma second is it is asking the format so i am going to truncate this on year level so let me put this into another data frame that could be df2 let me use the display of this df2 let me execute and we'll see the output it will be adding a new column and it has been truncated your month and day so both has been truncated and it is started of the month so we have truncate till your year so the year has been started so first day of the year we are getting by using this let me try to add another column and this time we just want to do the truncate on your month level so this time your day part will be truncated so first day of month will be getting by using this so here let me call this as trunk month let me execute and we'll see the output of this so here first day of month we are getting if you are going to specify as date so that will not work will be going to null because we don't have anything till further to truncate so let me try to do that so you will be able to understand so if we are going to specify like day here and here let me use day and execute so till further we don't have anything to be truncated so that's why we are getting like this if we are going to specify the current timestamp here let me try to execute and we'll see the output of this so i hope guys you have understood about it so the date difference function will be going to get the difference into dates month difference function will help us to get the difference between months and year both and the trunk function will be going to truncate your month and day from the starting position so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video